everybody, this is Pastor Ben Lim, and I want to give you seven prophetic promises that God has for you in this Pentecost season. In fact, there's much more that you can expect from the Lord in this Pentecost time. But I want to give you seven prophetic promises that you can expect God to give you in this season. First and foremost, Pentecost, otherwise known as Shavuot, is one of uh, the most holy feasts and festivals to the Jewish people, to our ancestors, and to our biblical Christian lineage. Pentecost was the time where Moses received the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. And of course, you cannot be a kingdom without a law. It is the law or the Word of God, the Torah, that dictates how to be a kingdom or a nation under God. Years later, we see that in Acts chapter 2. This was the birthing of the church in the upper room. The word was given with Moses. But hundreds of years later, we see that the Spirit of God that dwelled on the inside of every believer was given to the church. This is an outpouring of the Holy Ghost. And Pentecost, Shavuot, is that time and that season where God pours out His promises, His presence, the Word of God, and power like never before. Pentecost is an accumulated time. It's like when you see the weather clouds begin to gather and you see the cloud becoming darker and stronger and you predict that there's going to be a greater outpouring. Pentecost and every biblical feast is like this great gathering of dark, stormy, rainy clouds. Get ready for an outpouring. That's what happened on the day of Pentecost. The promise of the Father was released. And I believe God wants to do it again. Pentecost is the day where the church of Jesus Christ was birthed. Are you ready for Jesus to birth a new thing in you? Expect these seven prophetic promises to happen in your life today in this Pentecost season. Number one, peace upon Israel. Amen. We just saw that there was bombings, thousands of bombings against Israel. The firstborn of God, Yahweh, Jehovah, God's chosen people. There was thousands of bombs from Hamas, terrorist group against Israel. And we know that there was just a ceasefire that happened. In fact, I prophesied that there will be a ceasefire. In this Pentecost season, you can expect peace upon Israel. The Bible says in Psalm 122 verse 6, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they be secure who love you. In fact, the Bible says, those who bless Israel will be blessed. Those who curse Israel will be cursed. The Bible says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. <clears throat> Every year around Pentecost and Rosh Hashanah, something happens in the land of Israel. It's not a coincidence. It's called the times and seasons of God. God's shaking, stirring something up in the spirit around these times. And I believe a greater peace and shalom is coming to Israel and Jerusalem. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Expect a ceasefire and a demolishing of all enemy forces. Number two, expect promotions in the spirit. God wants to promote you in this Pentecost season. And you can see this because Peter rose up and he began to preach the gospel. One man, one minister rose up and was promoted. That's what God wants to do in this Pentecost season. He wants to raise you up in the anointing of the Holy Ghost so that you will begin to do what you are not able to do before. <clears throat> it's the will of God to promote you. It's the will of God to bless you. In fact, here in Acts chapter 2, the Bible says they were all gathered together and there was 120. It went from 500 to 120 in 10 days of waiting in the upper room. There was 500 that heard the word of Jesus 
as he ascended, stay in Jerusalem and you will receive power. But after 10 days, there's only 120. Are you ready to be promoted as a part of that chosen 120? Those who go through the process of the 10 day waiting period will be promoted with the cloven fire of the Holy Ghost. Get ready for promotions in this Pentecost season. Number three, positions of authority is being released to you. Someone say positions. Moses was called up to Mount Sinai to receive the Ten Commandments on Pentecost. Peter rose up amongst 3,000. In this Pentecost season, God is giving you a new seat and position of authority to be more effective than ever before. The guards are changing. The old is passing and the new is coming. God wants to position you in a new seat of authority in Jesus' name. Number four, your prayers are going to be accelerated. The baptism of the Holy Ghost came and they all began to speak and pray in other tongues languages. They began to utter. The Holy Ghost anoints you to pray. And in this Pentecost season, it's an accumulation of your prayers that's tipping over from the bowls of incense, otherwise known as the bowls of the prayers of the saints. We see that in the book of Revelation. Your prayers are being accelerated. You're going to pray anointed prayers. You're going to decree anointed decrees. You're going to release the roar and the prophecies of God from the throne room of heaven. In this Pentecost season, expect your prayers to be accelerated and God will pray through your mouth. Number five, God is giving you power to dismantle demonic forces. Jesus said, stay in Jerusalem until you receive power from on high. Deuteronomy's power, dynamite explosive power of the Holy Ghost. We are not weak Christians. We are not powerless. We are powerful. When you're filled with the Holy Spirit, when God lives on the inside of you, you become powerful. You can begin to do the impossible, the supernatural, that defies the laws of science and physics. God wants to give you power to dismantle the powers and forces of demons. Apostle Peter rose up and he preached and 3,000 came into God's kingdom and were saved. Do you want to save souls? Do you want to see people saved from the pit of hell? from the eternal fire of wrath. It takes power to free the captives. It takes power to begin to move in an anointing and authority to dismantle the devices, the yokes, and the powers of devils. Get ready for Jesus to give you power from on high to dismantle and to destroy, to refute and to rebuke every word curse, witchcraft and attack against you. Number six, in this Pentecost season, God is purifying his people. He wants to give us purity and holiness like never before. And Pentecost is a time where the baptism of the fire of the Holy Ghost came. John the Baptist said, I baptize you with water, but Jesus is coming to baptize you with fire. Why do we need the fire of the Holy Ghost to purify our hearts? Let me be as gold and precious silver. Purify our hearts. Let me be as gold, as pure gold. When the Holy Ghost comes, it purifies you and your heart's desires and intentions. It burns the flesh. It convicts the soul. It causes you to become pure in the sight of Jesus. Oh Lord, baptize us again in the fire of the Holy Spirit. God wants to burn away false alignments, soul ties, lies, the entanglements of the world. 
God wants to burn away the thorns and the thistles of the fallen nature. He wants to burn those things away so that you will become blameless in His sight in this Pentecost season. I speak fire on every devil, fire on every spirit of witchcraft. I speak fire in your room, in your car, wherever you are watching this from. Expect the fire of God to fall on this Pentecost season like never before. And the seventh prophetic promise that you can expect from Jesus himself is prosperity. God wants to prosper you. He loves to bless his children. In fact, every biblical feast is a feast of harvest. Pentecost, Shavuot, is a barley harvest. They celebrate the harvest of wheat barley that came in and they began to thank the Lord. Pentecost is a harvest feast. Are you ready to feast on the goodness of God? Are you ready to receive your compensation and supernatural provision? Pentecost Shavuot is a time of celebration, abundance, and prosperity. The outpouring of the Holy Ghost came so lavishly, endlessly. It came so freely. It was poured out. Get ready for God to pour out His blessings over you and over His people. There is prosperity available for you to receive in this Pentecost harvest. I declare this over you. In this Pentecost season, God is going to set you up for suddenly a roar of rushing winds came into the upper room and suddenly they were baptized. The Holy Spirit. Woo! Get ready for suddenly. This Pastor Ben Lim, I'm so glad you joined to receive these seven prophetic promises over you in this Pentecost season. Let me know what spoke to you the most. And I pray for God's mighty blessings to overtake you, overwhelm you, and to chase you down. Make sure you give us a subscribe on YouTube and give us a like and a follow on Facebook. Happy Shavuot Hak Sameach. Blessings.